This is a tutorial on how to construct a dissimilarity index using Microsoft Excel. So here's the scenario. We've got data on households by household income in Berrien County. Across the rows we've got municipalities in Berrien County. And then across the columns we've got income categories, five of them ranging from very low to very high. And in each cell is the number of households that falls into that category. So for example, there are 297 households in Bainbridge Township that fall into the very low income category. So we're going to use this data to construct a dissimilarity index. Let's take a quick refresher of what the dissimilarity index is. This is going to be a very quick refresher. You'll have to look to your class notes for more details. But essentially it consists of one ratio minus another ratio and we take the absolute value of that and we divide that or we, we sum that across all of the zones in the region in our case it's going to be Berrien County as the region and each zone will be a municipality and then we divide by two we take one half of that value so this is how it's going to look in Microsoft Excel I actually do it in two steps um, first I construct a table as shown here in Table 3. Table 3 is the percentage of households in each income category. So um, this formula here is actually taking from our raw data as follows. The numerator is 297, the denominator is 15,927, or the total for very low income households in Berrien County. In other words, then, what this table is showing is the sum of all these values are is 100, and it's showing us then the percentage of very low-income households that fall into each municipality. So, for example, Benton Harbor is home to 13 percent of the county's very low-income households. We're going to use these data in Table 3 in the construction of our dissimilarity index. I'm going to construct the dissimilarity index in these cells here. And recall that a dissimilarity index is always constructed between two groups. And in our case here, I'm going to um, construct it compared to the, the total. So for, for, in other words, it's going to be very low compared to total, low compared to total, moderate compared to total, etc. So the formula is going to look like this. I enter an equal sign and then ABS for absolute in a parenthesis and then I can scroll back over to the data I want to capture. In this case it's this cell minus the total because again I'm taking very low and I'm comparing it to total. I can hit another parenthesis and enter And I can then drag this all the way down. I'm sorry, I don't want to drag it yet. I need to, I need to anchor a cell. Before I can drag my formula across the cells, I need to anchor a cell. And I can do that by hitting F2 to get into edit mode. And then I can move over to my W4 cell. And by hitting the F4 key, I can anchor the W column. I don't want the column to move in this case. So once I have my formula like that I can hit enter. Now I can drag the formula across the rows and across the columns. And let's just make sure by picking randomly one of these cells and looking back to see if it's doing what I want it to do and it is. It's taking the difference between this and that and that's just what I want here so I'm okay. So here I now at this point I want to take a sum of each of these columns. I can do that by hitting the auto sum button up above here hitting enter, dragging across. So now I've summed across all of the zones, in this case zones are municipalities the next step in our formula, let's go back to the formula, 
So what we've done so far in Excel is the first step was taking care of this, the second step was to sum them across the zones, and now this third step to construct the dissimilarity index is to divide by 2. And I divide by 2 right here. These now are the dissimilarity indices for each of the income categories in reference to the total. So the highest is 20. That means that um, the very high income households are the most maldistributed throughout the county because it has the highest index of dissimilarity. In contrast, we find that it's the low income households that are least maldistributed across the county. Um, and then there are various values in between. So that concludes the calculation of the dissimilarity indices. Um, check back to this website for more tutorials. I hope it's helpful. Thank you.